so in a bookcase, there are five fiction books for every seven nonfiction books. There are 48 books in the bookcase. How many fiction books are in the bookcase? So we know that for every five fiction books, there are seven nonfiction books. What this tells us is that the ratio of F to N is five to seven. So F over N equals to five over seven. Now solving this for F, which means we would multiply both sides of this equation by N, well, that cancels out the end on the bottom here, and it leaves us with f equals to 5n over 7. So this gives us an equation for the number of nonfiction books and fiction books, how they relate to each other. Now, the second part of the question tells us that f plus n is equal to 48, because the total number of books is equal to 48. Then what we do is substitute in for f what we got from the equation on the left, telling us that for f, we put in 5n over 7. So we get now 5n over 7 plus n equals to 48. So both of these terms have an n in it. We need to find a common denominator in order to add them. The denominator on the left one is 7. The right one doesn't have a denom uh, denominator. It's like saying it's over 1. So what I, what I can do is multiply both of these, uh, the, uh, the top and the bottom of this term, by 7. So that gives us 5n over 7 plus now 7n over 7. And now that they both have the same denominator, we can just add the numerators, put them over the same denominator, giving us 5n plus 7n over 7. And when you add the 5n plus 7n, we get 12n. So we have 12n over 7 equals to 48. Now from there, um, we could just say this is 48 over 1. We can cross multiply. So by cross multiplying, we get that um, 12n times 1, which is just 12n, is equal to 7 times 48. Now I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So 12n equals to 7 times 48. Now to get the uh, rid of the 12, we can divide both sides of the equation by 12, which gives us um, it cancels out on the left, we just have n, which equals to 7 times 48 over 12. Now 7 times 48 over 12, what I can do is, if you don't have a calculator, I could see that 48 and 12, we know that 48 is a multiple of 12. Actually, 48 is 12 times 4, so if I can just cross them out, and just that leaves me a 4 on top. So n equals to 7 times 4, which should be simple, that's 28. So that gives us how many nonfiction books there are. Now finally, we go back to our um, equation for f and n, and we um, substitute in this 28 to give us f equals to 5 times 28 over 7. And again, here we have, if you didn't have a calculator, 28 and 7. Um, 28 is 4 times 7, so when we cross those off, we're left with a 4 on top. So f equals to 5 times 4 which is 20. So in total, there are 28 nonfiction books and 20 fiction books.